Hey guys, what's up? It's Frank from the Jeep Life Podcast. So today, I got a little bit of a different project going on. Um, I was looking for an aftermarket exhaust system and I wasn't sure exactly what to get. So um, a friend of mine happens to do custom exhaust for race cars. His name is Lou and his company is Herfurth Aluminum Racing Exhaust. So when I was talking to him, we came up with an idea to do an aluminum high rise uh, exhaust system for my 2012 JKU. Um, it's going to feature one of his signature glass pack style mufflers and uh, it's going to be a three inch high clearance exhaust system made out of aluminum so it's not going to uh, rust and we'll see how it holds up on the trails. My vehicle is basically going to be a test mule for this new exhaust system that we may be developing. So let's uh, get at it. Got to get the old, old stuff off first and uh, we'll go from there. So now that we're underneath the Jeep, you can see the old stock exhaust system. Um, it's pretty old, pretty rusty, and that clamp is pretty difficult to get to that bolt. Uh, we may have to end up cutting most of the old exhaust off, but you can see the old system goes all the way up and out to the back with that giant muffler. We're gonna get rid of all that stuff. So here we go. All right, so we got the stock exhaust system off the JK. Um, made, I had to make a couple of cuts just to make it a little bit easier to get off. One right at the back of the muffler, and then one up here. This piece right here will be reused for the custom exhaust system. And because we're mating an aluminum system with a steel system, we have to use a uh, V-band clamp on that. So Lou started prepping this already, and he's gonna weld on a V-band adapter. That's gonna go two and a half inch to three inch and be able to clamp, be clamped to the aluminum exhaust. Hey guys, so Lou here is going to explain to us the benefits of using a V-band clamp on a custom exhaust system. So go ahead, Lou, what do you got? All right, so uh, especially when you're connecting to similar metals, you can't just use a, a compression style fitting or the typical U-clamp where it crushes the tubing. Uh, a V-band clamp, uh, people use these on turbo applications all the time. It's leak free, it's trouble free. When you set up your V-band, you want to leave a little bit of a stub sticking out of it. That fits neatly inside of the companion V-band flange. I used a stainless steel one on the factory side, and of course an aluminum one on uh, the side that we're building the exhaust on. So easy, you put the V-band clamp around the flange, tighten it up, and it's solid, trouble-free, no issues. And there we have it, guys. So we're gonna continue with the uh, custom build here, and uh, wish us luck. So you can see where we reused part of the factory system. That was a piece that Lou had welded the V-band clamp to, or the V-band adapter. And here you could see the actual V-band clamp that's connecting the two and a half inch pipe to the three inch bullet style muffler. This is the muffler itself. It's a three inch inlet, three inch outlet, five inch can with a ceramic wool on the inside. And that will be the rest of the exhaust. Now you can see as far as clearance is concerned, we are approximately a half an inch from the cross member up there. And when you come and look at it from the side, it goes well up 
underneath where the frame rail is. And on the other side, you can see the fuel tank is actually below where the muffler is and the drive shaft too. So that's progress so far and it's time to finish it up. We're underneath the Jeep now, we're mocking up the rest of the, uh, the exhaust system. Um, so Lou was saying uh, to shorten it to get that bend a little bit further away from the body. So what, what was that Lou? So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten this union a little bit and uh, that'll get my OCD side satisfied because it'll put the bend straight up over the rear to give the rear the maximum amount of travel. It'll also give us a little more room right here to clear the body so that there's no rattles. All right, great. Looks good so far though. So here's the pieces that we cut up. Um, that was a 90 and that is a 45, both three inch diameter. And basically, uh, Lou figured how to mock this up. And that's pretty high clearance. It comes almost even with the bottom of the bumper right here, but it's a full straight down 90 degrees. The 45s go up to the 90 up top, which clears the axle and that just looks badass. <laughs> So we put the stock exhaust system on, on the scale just to see how much it weighs. We got out of the stock exhaust system minus the piece that we're keeping on for the flange, it's 35 pounds, 13 ounces. So now we're gonna put the new custom aluminum exhaust system on it and you'll see the difference. All right, so we have the scale zeroed out again and the aluminum exhaust going back on. seven pounds four ounces for the entire kit seven pounds four ounces All right guys, so five hours later, um, custom exhaust system is all fabricated and uh, up on the vehicle. The only thing that's left to do is actually hear it run. I have not heard this run yet. So let's go ahead and start it up and see what it sounds like. 